Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a good one today. I'm the Metal Junkie, and today I'm continuing my way through the great Southern Trend Kill album by Pantera. Um, we're at the song Living Through Me, Hell's Wrath, and I'm also going to do Floods today, do both those tracks. We don't waste time here, we're jumping right in. Living Through Me, Hell's Wrath, let's go. <laughs> Love the guitar tone here in the chorus. It sounds so cool. Very thrashy verse. And I like how when the song started, they played that riff or that line higher and then it came in lower. And that's what the verse really is where it sounds a lot lower, right? And they did that again when the verse came back in. Very cool stuff. I'm digging it. Uh, Phil, I'm, I'm telling you, this album he has his most visceral vocals to me anyway. he's He's gone crazy on this one. Love it. Sounds really demented here, and with like the whispering and the creepy voices and the the sound in the background. I don't know what that is, but almost sounds like a chain being hauled or something. I don't know, but creepy stuff.
little like squeal noises noises he's doing on the notes here in the chorus it sounds so damn cool <laughs> Okay, that was a pretty cool one. Once again, cool riffs all around, especially that chorus, the little squeals and that in there. Uh, they're not like har uh, harmonic pitches, but they're just, I don't know, it sounds so cool the way he was playing those notes. And this is the guitar tone and everything. That little middle section of the track with the whispers and everything kind of slowed things down a little too much, but I'm sure it uh, made sense within the narrative and the lyrics and all that. But musically... That dampered the song just a tiny bit, but still an incredibly solid track. Catchy chorus, it had everything, you know, badass riffs, cool bass lines too, Rex killing it in there, Vinny on drums. Man, they're, they're like an assault when you hear them sometimes working together. Uh, let's move on to Floods and see what that track's all about. <laughs> I just have to say that the initial picking when the song kicked in sounded was a little bit familiar. I don't know if I heard this before or not. Uh, not that I know of anyway. But yeah, it just had like a familiar sound to it. It was kind of reminding me a bit of Cemetery Gate Gates. Had like the creepy picking and that in there. And again, right here, Phil, man, he can sing when he when he wants to. He has a beautiful voice. And this goes to show the versatility he has, you know, how he can do this like almost gutturals on this album and really like evil screams and then he can s sound beautiful too when he just does regular vocals so extremely talented i don't think he gets the recognition he deserves let's keep her going see if i recognize any other parts it just sounded familiar the picking at the start <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
sounded like the flood has arrived. Uh, that heavy part came kind of came in out of nowhere. I wasn't expecting it. Boom, 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 boom. Freaking pretty damn cool. It's almost like sliding in and out, right? And the, the, the drums and everything, that section was so damn badass. Now we're going into the more melodic picking section again, it seems. Um, seems to be one of the more melodic tracks on the album uh, with Suicide Note Part 1. Both of them bring the melody, that's for sure. Again, just a very versatile, not only uh, vocalist and Phil, but the whole band. They really show you what they're capable of with songs like this. have to say that solo really hit you in the feels right it was just so packed full of emotion i love that and not all their solos like that sometimes their solos are like you know just shredding going all over this one it felt old school kind of and that bass and behind that rex was playing such a badass uh, rhythm section for that bass it's so damn cool man they they're killing it on this track they brought that lick back at the end um it was it was welcoming it was nice and warm i love it <laughs> um and right before that with like the thunder and the rain the guitars that and the the drums it was pairing so well with it it could have went on forever that could be played when you put on like you know those cds to try to sleep with the rain <laughs> pantera can join in on them man just a really badass song 
through and through from start to finish. So many cool sections. It was very melodic, but it was heavy when it had to be. Uh, really cool solo. Love that solo section. And yeah, just a great song overall. Both these tracks. I think I did prefer Floods over Living Through Me, but both of them were pretty badass. Again, killer album, only two tracks left, so stay tuned for those. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any future reactions I do. Uh, yeah, we're almost wrapping this album up. It's going so quick, so stay tuned for that. That's all I got for you guys today, and until next time, thanks for watching.